So it's an Etrusco 5900FB. Yeah, um, they wanted a compact. It says complete. Okay. This is for Smith Dually One. Uh, I don't know whether a complete is the same. Presumably that, that would be the upmarket one, isn't it? So, so I think it's the same layout because it's got the uh, French bed and okay. toilet in the corner. So it's quite compact. 70,200 yes. uh, as it stands here. Um, you can't work out the payload there. It doesn't tell me the payload. And it's black alloy wheels. This is the complete edition. Right, okay. Yeah. I presume that means it's got everything. Yeah. Okay. Start at the cab. Fit. Rear view mirror for no good reason at all. <laughs> What's the point? There's no, you can't see to the back. Two burner hob, sink, mini oven, it's set for duplex. That's a uh, oven grill. Okay. Yeah. That's the biggest oven we've seen so far. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Isn't it? It is. I think we're getting oven, <laughs> <laughs> oven starved. Yeah, actually, it is, isn't it? It is. Yeah, well, look at this giant oven. And look at what you do with that. Wow. <laughs> The Thetford fridge, I always like Thetford fridges. Yeah. Yeah. I presume it's an automatic. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, oh, there's something what? crawling there. Oh, bloody What earth is that? that? That's some sort of bug, isn't it? Oh. Just <laughs> let that move. Right, it's actually, it's, it works quite well in the colours in here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What is it? It's a beetle of some sort, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. Answers on a postcard, whatever that is. <laughs> Don't want to lose them in the thing. No. All right, let's have a look at the cupboards. Oh, that's giant. Why giant? Um. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Drop down bed. TV point that you can presumably have facing either way. That's good. That's clever. Isn't it? Yeah. So you could whiz it. Oh no, perhaps you can. No, no, I think just, you just, just whiz that round the, there. Pull that round. Pull it out. Yeah, no, I like that. And this drop is down, bed. Yeah, drop here. down bed. And another bed here. Yes. Quite a cut off on there. There. Speak to straight to sleep if that bothers you. Because I can put an insert in that. Right. And you probably would still just about get in there. Yeah, get in there. You don't really need the door that wide, do you? Quite a nice uh, washroom. Bench toilet, a swing out sink. And duckboard. And presumably that covers off the shower there. Really struggling with this cold, I have to keep stopping filming and blowing my nose. Probably leaving germs for everyone who looks in this van at the show. Huge cupboards, huge. <laughs> they are, aren't they? Yeah, they're all around the bed. Biggest cupboards we've seen so far. Nice reading lamps, at, reading lights at the back. Not USB lights by the looks of it, I don't think so. No, just really lights. But there is a USB over there. And a main upside down main socket, which they seem to do in continental vans. That thing's getting nearer to me. What they bug? Yeah. Where is it? It's here. Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> you must have picked that up when they did an outdoor show, I suppose. Yeah. 
<laughs> right, here's the travel seats and a table. Can we get in there? Oh yeah, that's all right. It's always that the leg is a pain as yeah. well, isn't it? I can't get, <laughs> can't get the leg in. No, can't get the leg. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> yeah. You got a laugh. I suppose. It, yeah. Can I get it? I still can't get. Look, look at this. This is not comfortable. I know, no? <laughs> I, I know I'm overweight, but goodness sake. It's very close to the thing, isn't it? And, and you've got the leg. Does it, does it move? Looks like it moves. Can you see if I can move it a bit so I can get in? Ah. Oh, that's better. That's better. I can probably get in there. Ah, that's better. Oh, I see. Yeah. <clears throat> that's a relief. <laughs> There's nice touches in here, aren't there? There's like you have somewhere to hang your cuff reel, whatever. Yes, yeah, so what do you think? I'm looking for some drawers. Is there a drawer? There's one, well, one under the thing. One down there. Not a huge number of drawers, are there? Just a flat thing. Yeah, and a cupboard there. Over here. Yeah. Yeah. But then you've got these huge, <laughs> huge ones over there. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, there's no garage on this, is there? Surely. No. Yeah. Presumably, there's storage under here. Though. Under the bed. Yeah. There's quite a bit. And oh yeah, there is a mini garage, there. isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's quite good. And you also need the ladder to get up into the drop down the bed. Other bed. Yeah. Let's see if we lift that up. Oh, there we go. There's your water tanks as well. And carpets are in car there. Carpets are in there, yeah. No, it's all right, isn't it? Oh, I don't know where that bug's gone now. It's there. Don't worry. It's oh, it's there. It's still there, right. I'm going to lose him. Shall we leave this bug and get on? <laughs> get somewhere upstairs. else. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the Etrusco T5900 FB, 72,000, includes a show offer with free Wi-Fi and a 19-inch TV. We were going to try and find a... Um, well, two Contiki's. A Contiki uh, 774 for Rob and Lynn, we were going to look at that, but we have looked at that at the Manchester show, wasn't it? The Manchester no, show? no, at Todd's. Oh, at Todd's, that's right. What one did you look at at the Manchester show? The 794. Well, that was the other one we had a request for. Okay. So we have got two videos, links down below. Yeah. Yeah, someone asked us to have a look at Weinsberg. <laughs> I honestly can't remember who it was. This is a Weinsberg on a Mercedes. You all right? So this is a Cara Compact 640 Meg Edition Pepper. And it's 6.92 meters long, four seats, and it's MTPLM, it's 4200. Two, two sleeping places. You get a load. This one's got all this optional We've Got Mercedes equipment Sprinter, on it. 150 brake horsepower, optional ooh, traffic sign assist, then bucks. Multimedia system, active distance of distronic electric parking. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Right. Okay. Mercedes cab. Really nice seats here. Table with a slidey out thing. Uh, speakers at the top there, little cubby holes. Quite small cupboards there, but is this a drop down bed here above? It's not, is no, it? No, it's beds at the back. This okay. is what they call the pepper edition. Yeah. Don't know what the salt edition is like, but <laughs> this pepper <laughs> got all these. Oh, I'm formed today. This won't be repeated ever. <laughs> no. 
Can't it's sorry, I don't know, but that's quite nice. Oh, and a, oh, look, a yeah. giant oven. <laughs> I think you just entitle this video the giant oven video. I think I will. It is, isn't it? All the yeah. vans we've looked at this morning have had, well, for us, tiny ovens, apart from one. What's going on there? Oh. I'm brushing my head. You can have a Truma air conditioning unit fitted, fitted there. there. Okay, okay. It's so nice. nice as them, isn't it? Yeah. The TV. The TV's are there. Tech. Yeah, it's all right. It's a good position if you're sitting in the cabs. Yeah, can't see it if you. You might be able there. to. Can you swivel it round? I bet that swivels round. It probably pulls out and swivels round so you can watch it in, in the other but, room. Yeah, I'm just thinking of people who are sitting here. Yeah. It looks like a porta potty. I don't think it is. What's going on there? Yeah, okay. This looks like something clever goes on here. I can't for the life of me figure out what's going on there. Hmm. Looks like something should move but I don't think it does. So shower. Yeah, okay. The timbre doors on the cupboards there. That's quite nice. That's probably a good use of timber cupboard a timber door cupboards there. There. Step up into the because they've got this um, thing there, but there are some steps back there. So an absolutely enormous bed with these fill, infills. Got a nice bit of elastic there, stop things falling out. Covers at the back. Quite a way up this this bed. Do you need to use the steps or use that little ladder? Yeah. Yeah. It's enormous um, sunroof here. It's giant. Goes all the way along there. It's quite nice. You know I'm doing this all out of sequence here, but there's your fridge. Now Thetford, isn't it? Thetford again, yeah. Good fridge. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's quite um it's quite nice in here, isn't well it? Well made out, isn't it? Mm. No bugs in here? I haven't seen any. Hmm. Okay. I don't think I've seen many Vinesburg. No. No, somebody said if you see any, didn't they? Have yeah. a look. Yeah. A big cupboard there. What's going on there? Yeah. Feels like there's something here, it but that's just the like roof. It does feel like there should be a drop-down bed, but... No, it's just the roof, isn't just it? The roof don't got pull it. No, I'm not pulling it. It's got padding in it. Don't panic. <laughs> it's just dropping my head. Tiny little hook there. Bit yeah. of a black cab, isn't it? It is, yeah. They're just, uh, well, I suppose they're sort of leather effect seats there. Let's see what they're like. Probably like any other Mercedes Benz seat, but they're not the posh seats like they get in the coachman, are they? No. Got two cup holders down there, aren't you? Four. Four. You'll never be short of a cup holder. Of two drinks going on for each of you. Don't <laughs> <laughs> want to put your water. Yeah. A little flap out, flap out, pull out flap thing. Yeah. Okay. I also yeah. wonder what that is up and down. Step, probably. Step, oh, okay. Electric step. Yeah, Truma. Truma That'll heating. be one of the new Truma panels, won't it? Yeah. The easy to use ones. Easier to use. Much easier. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's 20 degrees in here. No wonder I'm feeling hot. Good job. Very useful looking garage here, isn't it? Hmm, it is, it's big. There's storage back there as well. So this is for 200, you've probably got quite a decent a payload. Decent payload, yeah. And those is electric points there. You've got an awning. 
Yeah. Hmm. Mercedes alloys. Gas there. The Cara Compact 640 Meg Edition. Died early. Your holiday. Oh, right. What's oh, it? Right. Yeah. Mm, quite like that. Yeah. Is it holiday or is it travel? No. I can't remember. I think it's holiday. I might be wrong. No doubt some fluent German speaking person will correct me. <laughs> Dine, Dine is the informal version of you, isn't it? Is it? Oh, yeah. Right. Or your. Okay. Yeah, I think. Okay, so if you're looking for the Leisure Vehicle Advice Centre, that's here at the end of Halls. Still in three, aren't we? Yes. Next to Coachman. Okay, so Big, isn't over it? There. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you want a coffee? Yeah. Thought we'd treat ourselves to a couple of vegetarian breakfasts. It is. And uh, <laughs> 24 pounds with the tea. Oh, not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> and look who we met. <laughs> yeah, another uh, the edge. That's all right. See what this is like, I'll let you know. Yeah, it was all right. It's like a pint of tea though. Still going with the tea. <laughs> so right by the Leisure Vehicle Advice Centre, our friends at Solbio. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, it's, right. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so they've actually got a weight, uh, water tank, a fresh water cleaner. Um, breaking down biofilm and cleaning, cleaning thoroughly. So it's a bit more um, suitable for freshwater tanks. That's interesting, isn't it? It is, yeah. Food grade, no odour. Okay, we'll have to try that then. The flat boy water container, folding water container. He says he reckons this is unbreakable. But yeah. That's useful to have in the van, but it folds up flat. Mm. That's good. It's one of the usual Solvio. <laughs> all right. <laughs> hey, Bob, you're right. Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. Mm. Yeah, just on our way back to the car park now. We've done our first visit. That's Tuesday's visit. Uh, it's quite good. Met a few people. It's getting a bit busy in there now, so I'm going to go back and do a bit of editing. See Poppy. See Poppy. So I'm buying myself some Beecham's. <laughs> right, I'm back into the caravan camping and motor home show, and it's Wednesday. I'm on my own today. Uh, Jenny's Jenny's going to visit the little CL that Glyn's staying on, so uh, so she's left me wandering about aimlessly, getting lost. But I'm heading towards Hall One, where Rapido are. I'm going to have a look at the Rapidos. We've been asked to look at the Rapidos by Simon Codd. So let's go and have a look. Yeah, so this is the 696F. I can't see any 896F. So I think, presumably, it would be a little bit longer and it would be A class. So this is a Euro 640 brake horsepower. Payload is 455. This is £92,930. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Can't figure out how to put the lights on, so hopefully you'll be able to see most of it. Uh, quite a different lounge here. Folding table in the middle on a, on a pedestal. Isn't that goes up and down. This is on an automatic, this one. Oh, that's quite nice. Very nice seats. And these look like the travel seats as well. When they come out, we've got the yeah, we've got a raising mechanism there. Headrest there. Okay. 
bad cupboards. The kitchen area. Interesting looking. Oh, it's quite a big drawer. Okay. Soft close. What do you. Oh, it's a button there. It's a bit complicated, but there you go. Yeah. And we've got TV over here. I was trying to figure out how to switch this on, but if I hold it or that's on. I can't seem to switch it on. Maybe you need a key or something. Right, back to inside the van. So a little Thetford oven. Quite a nice fridge. Again, a Thetford fridge. Have a look in the washroom. It's a bit dark in here. Okay, that's a good size jar. Yeah. That's all right, that curves off a bit to that side. Here's the bed. Okay, looks like it's extended. So there's a reasonable amount to get to get through. I can get get in there. Yeah, that's all right. Doors close off, obviously. Oh, sorry. Oh well. Yeah, it looks like that bed rises up and gives you a bit more space. Shower point there. Yeah, we've got the button to move the bed up and down. Looking for uh, electricity points, but can't see them. Probably over the, over the other side. I can't get to at the moment. But yeah. Nice alloys, quite a nice door there. I don't know, look around the other side. The big Morello boys over there. There's a toilet, water. And yeah, still can't see electric points. That's strange. There's all your electrics in there. Yeah. Rear view camera on the back here. Yeah. I145RBLE Carthago Sea Tourer Superior. They have such long names. Here's the specs. It can be on a 3500 or 4500. I presume it doesn't really give you the specs there about payload, but uh, nice great big sign so we can't see the rest of the motor. Massive looking garage here. Oh wow, that's huge. Yeah, it's an enormous garage. Yeah, absolutely enormous. Beds must be way up in the air there. Let's have a look inside because the show's not long to open. So I better jump in and have a look. Oh, wow. Yes, this is very nice. So this is an A-class. Obviously you've got a drop down bed above the cab here. Mercedes. Yeah, feels very nice. So the controls up here. Very unusual um, layout for the TV. Could it goes up that way and then, if you can see it on there, you turn it round, pull it out, turn it round. Okay, different. Sort of a conventional European L-shaped layout here. Presumably you take those cushions out if you want to use it as travel seats. Got a table that goes up and down. Very stylish feeling cupboards. Always like the shiny 
effect they've got on these. Not the biggest kitchen I've ever seen. There's a bit worktop area here. They do do this thing where you can take the chopping board out and put it up there, which gives you a little bit of workspace, preparation space or something. Split class to open. So you know if you only want to use one burn or something. Nice little pockets here and there. Coffee maker, pull out coffee maker. Mm. Not the biggest oven you'll ever get, but at least it's got one. Yeah, that's good. I think this might be our fridge. Yes, it is. Yeah, so you've got the uh, door that opens at both sides, automatic energy selection, nice fetching shade of grey. What is it about staggered coat hooks? Must be the latest fashion statement. So, twin drains. Well, these sort of pull round. Oh, okay, that's different. We can fold that away. Wheel arch there, but this is not too bad. Oh, never keen on having wheel arch in my shower. But that's okay. Presumably the door. Yeah, there we go. Close that off. It gives you a nice space, nice changing space here. It's a bit goes that way. But yeah, loads of room in here. Plenty of room to admire your coiffure. Giant sink. <laughs> it is enormous. Enormous. Somewhere to hide your toilet roll. And a little basket for your linens. Yeah, uh, quite like this. We've got here. Yep, hanging space. Oh, it's really good. So similar over here. Somewhere to put your spare cushions. Two steps up. Quite narrow those steps. Oh, God, it is a bit, of a, a bit of a struggle to get up there when I'm up. A little lockers above the, the, the uh, thing. Head banging potential when you get up. But quite a cosy place to be. It's sitting up headroom here. But, uh, I wouldn't be sitting up headroom there. Yeah. yeah. It's all right. Well, I think I'd want to be really careful getting down here in the middle of the night because that is quite a way up. That's the compromise you've got for having a giant garage in there. No, I was just wondering if the foot of the bed came up. It doesn't. Well, you probably wouldn't want it to come out too high. USBs and uh, PowerPoint there, more USBs over there, reading lights, quite well provisioned. Yeah, I do like this changing area. That's good. I'm trying to see where. Don't think, might be wrong here, that there's any, any oh, mind you, the. Looks like there was something. Might be optional or something, I don't know, but it looks like there's a runner going across there for something to come out here, but it doesn't seem to be fitted. I know not why. Okay, a stylish new motorhome. Yeah, I do like this Mercedes cab. It makes it very, I don't know, truck-like. But yeah. All these switches down there. Yeah, okay. Well, that is a very long way up. 
but that's a Sea Tourer I-145RB LE Superior. Yeah, very nice. It goes without saying it's got awning and everything on it. Rear view camera. Mercedes badge, in case you had forgotten. like never before. Okay, if you say so. Wait for the doors open here. No. As with all these Carthagos, you've got the underfloor storage here, which is absolutely great. You've got a, like a wet area over there. You can put your wet stuff, access to drain down and battery. All good stuff in here. I don't know what it's in there, so I can't get to it. So that's where you fill your fuel, I think. Yeah. Or is it fuel or is it water? Just giving you tire pressures there. I'm not sure whether that's fuel or water. I would imagine it's fuel, but I'd find out before you use it. And you've got a step there to get in the what would be the driver's door if it was left-hand drive. Coach style mirrors. I would like to see those little camera mirrors that they've got on some trucks now. That would be good. Rather than these great big coach style mirrors. Maybe that will come one day. Uh, yes, it's not true there's no caravans here. <laughs> there are some caravans, I've just not been looking at them. No one's asked us to look at any caravans. It's got Broad Lane Leisure here. Uh, got some awnings in this area. And we're in Hall 1, incidentally. Isabella awnings. A name I've not heard of before. Telter. Okay, we'll perhaps have a look at these when uh, Jenny's with me next time. Outdoor Revolution, I've got a stand here. It's amazing how much stuff they actually make now. Fridges. Oh, how much stuff they sell. All the um, mozzie uh, killers and melamine bowls and... Oh, ow, ow, ow. Ramps, they do ramps as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ramps with a. Okay. Yeah, it's quite a big area. Do -do -do. Yeah. Well, it definitely would definitely be worth bringing Jenny down here and perhaps we'll. Sort of new warning for the new moto, you never know. I can't not to be in Hall 1 without mentioning the castle climb. Obviously you get kids climbing up this uh, castle wall. Presumably it's all using ropes and everything, but they've got like footholds and uh, hours of fun if you bring the kids, or if you're a big kid yourself. Yeah, they've got like ropes hanging off the, in theory, off the castle wall. Maypole leisure here, a range of awnings and windbreaks. We've got a Mazda here. <laughs> Very nice. A test driver for Mazda. There you go. Green 4 company. The Mazda 6.5. Avtex. Here, a range of their tellies. A new uh, Avtex router. 5G antenna, still a 4G router though, I think. So I'm Clara from Avtex. This is our new 24 inch Vida. It's truly frameless, so if you have a little look, it has such a small bezel, the screen essentially extends right to the end. You still have your favourite features of an Avtex product in terms of the bezeled edge, the metallic finish, and the kind of sturdy quality of the materials. Okay. Alongside that, then, 
the platform is truly designed for the industry. So you've got your features that AvTech is renowned for, such as an AQT button, a battery um, indicator, all of these sort of things, reverse polarity. But then the fun thing that we love about this, well, I love about this, is we have an app that you can fully control the television by. So it essentially acts as a remote. It is instantaneously, the reaction time is absolutely great. You can then... So can this will be on a phone or...? Whatever smart device you have, as okay. long as it's connected to the same Wi-Fi as the television, um, it's not through Bluetooth at all, it is Wi-Fi related, so it works perfectly then. It allows you to kind of sign in as if you were essentially just typing on your iPad or your phone, so it's yep. much quicker to work with. You can do your favorite apps. Okay. And you can compa right. completely Let's customize. Netflix or something like that. Yeah, whatever you want to customize yeah. that with, you can do that. You can put your favorites. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Pause for that one. <laughs> <laughs> it was great timing, there you go. Yeah. Um, so you can also do favourites, so I'm not signed in here, but if you have a particular show that you're watching at that yeah. moment in time, yeah. you can favourite it and it will constantly then okay. um, update there and that is where that holds your favourite shows. Likewise, you can do your media player, so you can cast your music, your photos and your videos. There's a multitude of other features in here. Um, I honestly don't think I could go through them all. No, it's got no. voice command. Uh, a toggle so that you can just kind of essentially swipe your finger to control the television. Uh, just your normal kind of remote features. Honestly, it's an absolute mind field of everything <laughs> yeah. that's in here. Yeah. So what, I always want to look at the back of a TV. Yeah, can yeah. I have a... No, you carry on. <laughs> a quick look around the back and see what connectors you've got. Twin <laughs> HDMIs. And obviously you've got the mounting points there and there. Mm -hmm. uh, Still got a DVD player on it. That's, so yeah. this is our combi range. So right, we've got okay. the Vida, um, the AV range, yeah. so the Vida range smart. That is a normal smart television. And then we've got our Vida combis, and those are a DVD and smart television. Oh, okay. uh, both of them have this app and the same features in terms of Vida. We're working exclusively with Vida to create the platform that really has got this industry at the okay. heart of it. So. Yeah, just All wanted right. to kind of introduce Brilliant. our new product. All right, so come and have a, have a look at Avtex. They're in hall one. Uh, and where are you? I'm trying to think with, with MG Caravans. Yes. Right by Dreamer. We're just at the bottom of the stairs. as you. Oh, yeah, so the... bottom of the stairs, turn right. <laughs> yes. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hall started to fill up. Now the show's open. Okay. So I'm at Coach Built Motorhomes, who convert and make coach-built motorhomes wheelchair accessible. I've blown it. <laughs> oh no, there you go. Oh well. Yeah, you have a back panel that just goes up. Yeah. Okay. Stop people falling off the Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because obviously able-bodied people have got to be able to get in as well. But yep, that's it. Okay. That's brilliant. So all we've done here, widen the door. Yeah. There would have been a um, safe cushion. Sofa there, there, yeah. That's been taken away. Just so you've just a got a cupboard, cupboard yeah. Which yeah. gives you more space here. Exactly right, yeah. So we yeah. can put wheelchair restraints on the floor as well. So if yeah. someone's travelling in their chair. Okay. Behind the two front seats they can. Yeah. And that's the passenger seat just stored underneath. And you've still got the travel seat in yeah. there as well. That's it. Okay. So... So this is a Voyager, obviously we've filmed many, many times before as an auto, on an automatic. And you were saying earlier that all of these conversions are all bespoke, aren't they? 100%, yeah. Yeah, so whatever they, the customer wants or needs, they will do it. But a lot of fitments you'll recognize uh, from Swift's, um, <laughs> I'm gonna say bin, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're parts approved, list. We're approved by Swift. Yeah. Um, carry out these adaptations so yeah. all the parts that you see yeah. um, we, we have in stock so it's right. it looks in, intended as if it came from Swift as well. Yeah okay okay so let's have a look further back then so obviously you've got a standard cooker and a standard fridge usual sort of thing. You've got a curtain here obviously for privacy reasons and you've got a single bed in here now 
I'll say, there's, so this is like, this is almost like a, a washroom at the back, isn't it? So, yeah, okay. Well, that's good, isn't it? Because you can get in there. You've got, you've actually got drains on the floor here. Look, yeah. isn't that good? You want me to demonstrate the bed as well? Yeah, please. Um, so it's, it's, it's a fixed single bed yeah. at the moment. So yeah. that gives you space to allow a wheelchair to get to the back yeah. to transfer onto the yeah. bed. But you just pull out the second half of the bed to make a double bed then. Okay. Facing. All right. So husband and wife, whoever's in the wheelchair will transfer. Yeah. And then, and then you've just put, put some mattress in a mattress in there. Right. Excellent. There's still loads of space. Yeah. It's amazing what they do put in these motorhomes and make them feel that much smaller normally. But yeah. But yeah, this is really good wash area, isn't it? The shower there. That's it, and then usually there would be a, a sliding door that would just shut yeah. it up, but, uh, and then the, the wet red floor will come all the way to the bed. Oh right, yeah, because it's, it's lipped there, isn't it, as well? So it won't puddle, it will no. drain away. No, okay. Yeah, but there's no moaning about how many drain holes in the shower area here. Yeah, we go over Oh no, that's good, that's really good. So, coach built... Coach built GB. Yeah. Based in Nuneaton in Warwickshire. Okay, so come to the show and have a chat with them. Yeah, great to see you. Thank you. Yeah, so that whole assembly yeah, folds I'll, up. I'll show you. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's all done with a remote. All right, so just the standard door as well, that step rather. Very good. You wouldn't, you wouldn't really notice. No, we have kept all the existing graphics and it just looks like part of the motor. Brilliant. So if you pulled on to the side, you would look no different to anyone, anyone else's no. hotel. Than that. Apart from that, yeah, that's right. Excellent. This is on a 594. Okay. Yes. Yeah. More space as well. Oh. I mean, look at that. They do slide outs on Contiki's. Even a little Swift uh, Carrera 144. Also for caravans as well. Okay. Wouldn't be a show without tow a frame, would it? We've got this on a. Um, I don't think what that is. I go. Ah, the smart glide, glide system, which we've got. There we go. Stand 145. Just a little bit about how it works. Good. <laughs> yeah, here's an eye go. Yeah, okay. Hi, Mike. <laughs> ah, I'm doing all right. That's more like the one I've got, isn't it? Yeah. So if you've watched this far, thanks for watching. You might have noticed that finished a little bit abruptly. And yes. the reason for that was that I fainted. Yes. Yeah, uh, I was on, on uh, Mike Northeast's stand and we were chatting away about toe frames as you do. Mm. And um, I'd, I thought, oh, I feel a bit warm. Yeah. And uh, I thought I'd better sit down, sat down, came over all sort of warm again. And uh, next thing I know, I'm on the floor. Yes. <laughs> Mike's looking over, are you all right? Um, and I thought, oh, just had a nice little sleep. Hmm. So it's something I've done before, fainted. Uh, apparently one in three suffer from this. Hmm. And uh, there are uh, first aiders and paramedics at the NEC who rushed to my aid. I then found myself being carted out in a wheelchair. Uh, hello to uh, <laughs> Moto Matt, who sort of looked stunned at <laughs> what's going, going on. on yeah. So I don't know how many people saw me being carted through Hall 1 out, out in, into a, a waiting car. Yes. But, um, 
Uh, sorry, well, first of all, went to the paramedic station at uh, the NEC. They checked me blood pressure, they checked me ECG, uh, did blood tests for blood sugar, obviously, and uh, everything is okay. I mean, blood pressure was a bit low after the faint, and, but uh, they wanted me to go to the hospital. So we had to do a really sort of complicated arrangement uh, yes. because I'd taken the car into the NEC. Uh, Jenny doesn't drive, so... Um, well, Gl fortunately, Glyn was here because I was going to spend the day with Glyn and Sharon at their site, um, which is, they're up CL near here, and um, you'd obviously take the car in. So what we did was Bob Mackay kindly took us in his car, took Glyn me, and me and Poppy, and we went to the NEC. Uh, Glyn brought our car back here and then took Poppy back to their site then Bob Mackay kindly took the two of us to Heartland all, all Hospital the way, all the way through, through the Birmingham, Birmingham traffic. traffic. Yes, it yeah. wasn't a very nice no. journey. So we went to the hospital. We were there for six to seven hours. Yeah. They were doing two-hour obs on you, weren't they? Yeah. Which were all getting well, fine. The blood yeah. pressure was up to a normal level. They did another ECG each time. And then they needed to take... We saw a doctor, and he said we you needed a blood test yeah. so they did a blood test and we had to obviously wait for the results of that that took three hours altogether three hours for the test results to come back but they they all came back negative for all the things they were testing for and they took your blood it includes blood clots and uh, blood clots things yeah. like that so yeah. there was no problems with that and basically they said you, you've got that condition with a very long name <laughs> yeah i think it's called vasovagal syncope yeah. I'll put it down here if, I, yeah. if I've pronounced it wrong, but it, it's basically people who faint because of various triggers. Yes. And I think my trigger was I hadn't drunk enough, I'd only had a little to eat, I was hot, and uh, I, that's why I felt faint. You've been, you've been filming, I think, for about an hour and a half by then. I don't think it matters how long I was filming. No, no, but, but you'd gone that time without any... Yeah drink because you you left your water here I didn't oh, yeah. I'd re realized that after you'd gone up the road yeah, yeah. so you got no water with you and now. it was warm yeah and then when we went in on Tuesday we went for breakfast at 10 yeah. o'clock didn't yeah, we you, you right. didn't do that on your own you just no, carried I know, on I know. if Jenny had been with me I probably <laughs> would, it would never have happened but Jenny had to stay and mind the dogs so yeah because it, it was Bob's turn to go in no, so uh, you yeah. know we have One, this arrangement so yeah. Yeah. So one thing and another it sort of contributed yeah, to it. Yeah, but it it was fortunate. Glyn was here and able to help. So we want to say a big thank you to Bob for taking us to the hospital in the first place. And a big thank you to Glyn and Sharon for bring, and collecting us from the hospital in the evening and for looking after Poppy for us during the day. I think Poppy enjoyed herself. Poppy <laughs> enjoyed herself because <laughs> she likes being in the caravan. Yeah, so. that's right. Yeah, and to everybody else, I mean, uh, to the people in the Vanners collaboration who've all sent good wishes. Um, yeah, which we told, we told about because of the Vanners collaboration. That's right, so. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, then also to Chaz. Um, who uh, Chaz found out from... Um, uh, from Mike Alex. North East. Uh, oh, no, found no, no, out from Alex. Alex, Alex is in the Vanners in collaboration. TT Alexa. He, yeah, yeah. He, he phoned you um, and with a very kind offer to... Yeah take the motor home home if we needed so, needed that so loads of uh, loads of thank yous thank, thank you yous. to trev and yeah. sue for um their <laughs> kind messages um just everybody i mean my friend allison mm. my friend elaine uh, jules and karina here yeah. uh, simon and tracy mm -hmm. yeah just everybody thank you yeah yeah and, yeah. and uh, thank you for for everyone who's watching this video uh, yes i am i'm fine honestly i really am yes uh, hoping to go back in Friday. Uh, I've still got a bit of a cold, but uh, it's uh, mm. in its terminal phase now. Yeah, so we'll see how you are tomorrow because um, I don't think really you should have gone in yesterday no. in retrospect. No. So we, no. we need to make sure you're okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay then. Yeah, all right. So thanks for watching. Uh, and honestly, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Yeah, bye, bye then. then.